Welcome back. Hello again, whiskey friends. So glad you're checking in this video out. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys uh, hit subscribe and like this video. We appreciate all the support. We're just a few guys that love whiskey, that love sharing our thoughts and feelings about particular whiskeys and our palates. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Normally we're doing bourbons, we're doing rye. This is a bottle that came out this year that's really interesting to me because it kind of bridged the gaps uh, from bourbon to American single malt, which I think we've already seen. The big distilleries tend to put some of this out. Jack just released um, their twice barreled American single malt and sherry. Uh, Yellowstone is the one that we're going to be doing today, which is their American single malt. It is 108 proof and it is four years old. Now, this particular single malt was a wide release, so it should be able for everybody to get their hands on. Not super hard to find, but man, it is a real different profile for uh, bourbon drinkers, which I think will be intrigued by. So let's get into this video. Before we do, let's kick off the show and we'll uh, break down the palate. Hey guys, welcome back. So today, again, we are doing Yellowstone's new release of the American Single Malt. It is, again, 108 proof, which I feel like is a great proof point for uh, entry on this particular uh, whiskey. Uh, let's start off with the nose, but we're going to look at the color a little bit. It has got a really good copper color here for you. Um, like I said, this is going to be one that kind of bridges the gap between bourbon and American Single Malt. If you guys are afraid to get into single malts or haven't really tried any American single malts. This was something that I would uh, encourage you to do to expand your palate, but also I feel like you'll really enjoy this. So cheers, everybody. Let's get into the nose and break it down. So right up front, man, this thing is loaded with honey and a really ripe pear, which I love, which is an odd note typically for uh, a whiskey per se, but these American single malts are coming out with some great, great profiles. Uh, Stranahan's has a great one if you want to check that single barrel out. Uh, Jack, like I said, just released that. was a little bit harder to get, but this one right here, sub $60 for this uh, bottle, and it's widely available. If you want to delve into getting outside of your uh, circle a little bit and trying some American single malt bourbon drinkers, I think that this one's the one that you need to go pick up. So on the nose, honey, pear just a little bit of oak um it's real sweet but again it's almost like a honey grain um like the grain has been malted but it's not malted um as far as i mean it obviously it's malted barley but i'm saying it's not a honey malted grain so but it does come off a lot of honey and man, that pear note is just like jumping out at me. If you guys haven't had a pear in a while, a ripe pear, go pick one up and cut it and eat it because this is exactly what's coming off the nose of this thing. Such an incredible nose. Like I said, it's it's not uh, overwhelmingly different than bourbon notes that you get, especially in more stuff like Chattanooga where the, the grains are malted um, as well. But Man, this has such a great nose. Let's go in for the front of the palate. Cheers, guys. Kind of follow suit on the palate, man. Really easy to drink. Honey, pear, a little bit of oak, a little bit of spice, actually, even. Just a little bit. Drinks under its proof at 108. I would say this drinks more like 100 proof or a little bit, maybe even a little bit under 100 proof um, to me. But the front of palate's real sweet, real approachable. Let's go in for a second sip on the front of palate. Consistent. Nothing's really changing a whole lot. It's uh, somewhat viscous. It's not super oily, but it does coat your mouth well. Um, it leaves you with a really, really easy drinking whiskey. I mean, this thing is 
absolutely crushable, super easy to drink, especially if you're a bourbon drinker who's trying to, like I said, venture out a little bit, but not get too far over in single malts that can be a little bit harder for you to get into. So let's go on to the mid palette here and break that down. So the mid palate stays pretty, pretty sweet in the middle of your tongue, goes out a little bit with the honey in the sec on the uh, sides of your tongue, but overall stays pretty true to what you're getting in the front of the palate. Let's break down this finish a little bit. Cheers, you guys. So overall in the finish, you get just a little bit more of the oak. Uh, same notes up as you're getting up front, a little bit of spice on the finish, but nothing like a rye spice or anything like that. Just a, a little, I think it's barrel spice really, uh, from these new chart, uh, oak barrels. And it does have a pretty long finish for an 108 proof. Um, it kind of goes on, you get all of the honey note that finishes well. This is just a really, really interesting American single malt that transitions for me as a bourbon drinker over to single malt without it being so uh, harsh to make that transition. So if you guys are wanting to check out a new American single malt that isn't so malty um, flavored, it's it's this one. I mean, sub 60 bucks, great whiskey, easy to drink, easy to find. Uh, let's break down the scores on this one. So Yellowstone score was a 75 on the flavor score. Really, the experience was very high for me as well as the value. I feel like this is a great value for a four and a half, five-year-old whiskey at an American single malt. Absolutely recommend this. Do I plan to buy another one? Absolutely. I already have. So Overall, this experience is very, very good whiskey. Um, if you guys, like I said, are wanting to branch out and try something new, but are scared a little bit about what the American single malt experience is like, this is one that I really feel like is a safe bet for you um, to get into. And overall, like I said, the experience is very easy uh, to get into and to be enjoyable. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Till next time, cheers, and we appreciate all the support that you guys have given to us. So we'll see you next time here in the Whiskey Riffs Lab. Jeff, just be friends with me, but you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me, but you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey. But you have these whiskey friends